coming here to Valdosta to South Georgia Medical Center to establish a new program and uh, give the community what it needs, uh, working with uh, Mr. Uh, Ronnie Dean and uh, the leadership of South Georgia Medical Center. They are very excited to establish electrophysiology here for the community and for our patients and uh, looking forward to work with all the cardiologists and the whole medical community here to move forward and give the community what they need from EP services. People passing out or having rhythm problems, rapid heart rate, slow heart rate, um, they need to seek cardiology care. Usually they start with general cardiology. The general cardiologist will tell them whether they need to come and see the electrophysiologist or not. I think the general, the general consensus is to start with cardiology first and then you come to EP. Electrophysiology deals with the electrical disturbances of the heart, whether it is low heart rate that leads to pacemaker or fast heart rate that needs ablation therapies, uh, or uh, you can have sometimes cardiomyopathy when the muscles start getting weak and patients end up with defibrators and cardiac resynchronization therapies, defibrators, and uh, with the arrhythmias, ablations, we have a wide variety of rhythm disturbances of the heart. The most common of which is atrial fibrillation, and that's what uh, I'm looking forward to establish here for this community. We do nowadays uh, state-of-the-art technology, what we call cryoablation. We've done over 500 cases with cryoablations and uh, very good results. Really, it's, it's a wide spectrum of, of, of specialty. It encompasses, I always say, electrophysiology encompasses cardiology, interventional cardiology, surgery, and electrophysiology in one specialty.